Hi, I'm Rob from B&H, and we're checking out the QSC TouchMix 30 Pro digital mixer with touch screen. TM30 Pro not only expands the inputs and channel count over QSC's TM8 and TM16 models, but also adds a few new Pro features not found on those earlier versions, including a larger 10-inch multi-touch screen, anti-feedback and room tuning wizards, two real-time analyzers, easy molting via the patch matrix, eight subgroups, 32-channel direct-to-external drive capture and playback, and 32-channel DAW interfacing with Mac computers. Now add to that six built-in stereo effect engines, a pitch corrector, gate EQ compression and delay on every input channel, over 120 live sound channel presets and more, giving you a very comprehensive live sound solution. This kind of feature set makes the TM30 Pro a really solid mixer, not only for touring bands and performers, but also for small venues, performance spaces, and houses of worship looking for a cost-effective, professional mixing solution with a remarkably small and lightweight footprint. Furthermore, like the TM8 and the TM16, you can control the TM30 Pro remotely via iOS and Android smartphones and tablets using QSC's TouchMix Control app. That means you can tuck the mixer out of the way somewhere and make mix adjustments remotely from the audience's perspective. And what's more, multiple devices can be used simultaneously and limited to certain functions. So the engineer can have full control over the entire console, while the guitarist or vocalist can be limited to adjusting only their own monitor mixes. Taking a quick tour, aside from a headphone jack and a mini stereo input on top, all the inputs and the outputs on the TouchMix 30 Pro are on the back. You get 20 XLRs and 4 XLR TRS combo inputs, all mic or line level with individually selectable phantom power and easily accessible trim pots for the Class A mic preamps. Each mic pre offers 60 dB of analog gain with another 15 dB of digital gain available as well. The onboard gain wizard can help you keep an eye on your inputs and suggests alternate trim levels if things are too hot. Also in the back are three stereo balanced line inputs great for keyboards or outboard effect returns if the six internal effects aren't enough. The TM30 Pro uses a 32-bit floating point system and converts audio to rates of either 44.1 or 48 kilohertz. 18 XLR outputs are back here. A monitor left and right, a main left and right, and 14 aux outputs, ideal for setting up individual monitor mixes for your performers, and yes, you can pair them for stereo monitoring. Auxes 11 and 12 and 13 and 14 feed these stereo quarter inch outputs, which are ideal for performers using in-ear monitors. A second quarter inch headphone jack for monitoring is also back here. Live sound engineers need to work fast, and working on the TM30 Pro really is quite intuitive, but if you get stuck, the info button instantly calls up a virtual manual. The four-point multi-touch screen is reasonably smooth, and the large dial is more precise, and you can press on it for even finer adjustments. Dedicated buttons take you right to the important pages, keeping menu diving fairly minimal, and I like that there are often multiple ways to get to the same page. You can also reset these user buttons from their default functions like copy and paste, etc., to functions more essential to your needs. The home page brings up faders and banks of eight, while the overview shows you an individual channel in detail, so you can set the EQ, compressor, and gate parameters, or you can go to individual pages for those for finer adjustments. Now, having over 120 channel presets is also a big time saver, and the presets are really well thought out, offering several variables to choose from depending on the sound at the input. Another nice touch is that many features, like effects for example, can be switched from an advanced mode with full control over all the parameters to a simple mode where you can dial in the essential settings and move on. Now as I said, there are six stereo effect engines available at the same time on the TM30 Pro, and they more than cover the basics for live stuff. Reverbs, delays, choruses, pitch shift. Pitch correction is also on board. 
The effects wizard is helpful in suggesting appropriate effects for certain sounds, and it's really easy to route effect returns to various monitor mixes. In addition to the gain wizard and the effects wizard, the TM30 Pro also has two more wizards at your disposal. The anti-feedback wizard helps you ring out a system using the 12 adjustable notch filters available on all 16 outputs, while the room tuning wizard helps you EQ the speaker system to compensate for room acoustics. To use the room tuning wizard, you will need to plug in a measurement mic into the talkback input, like this Behringer ECM8000, for example. The TM30 Pro also features two real-time analyzers. One is displayed on the EQ of the currently selected input or output channel, while the other can be assigned to any output, the Q bus, or the talkback mic input. Eight subgroups are available, say if you want to limit the drums or EQ all the horns as a group. Eight DCA groups and eight mute groups are also available for quick multi-channel adjustments. Settings on the board can be stored as scenes to the internal memory or USB storage. QSC offers a number of accessories to help you get the most out of your TM30 Pro, including a tote, a dust cover, a rack kit, and a table support stand. So there you have it with the TouchMix 30 Pro, QSC have not only increased the inputs and channels, they've added some very comprehensive tools for professional live sound reinforcement. I'm Rob from B&H, and thanks for watching.